Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here and what you're looking at is The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing by Neocore Games. And it is a really wonderful action RPG, but there is one part that annoys the living crap out of a whole lot of people in the forums, and it is this particular scene here. And this is the scene with the drill worm. So I'm going to show you how... No, I'm not going to say how to beat the worm. I'm going to show you how to defeat the drill worm. Alright, so let's start with this. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is that I'm moving all over the place. Keep moving no matter what. What I'm doing is I am walking up to these four pillars that are around the edge of the screen. Not the one that's on the right right now, but the four pillars on the edge of the screen. And I am activating them one at a time with my left trigger. Now, here's the thing with this. You will notice that it doesn't always activate when I'm trying to activate it. And that is because, I don't know, the hit detection is a little bit off or something. At least on mine it is, and other people have had the same complaint. But you'll notice that sometimes it just doesn't activate. But I have noticed that when it will activate, it actually shows you a little icon on the screen indicating that you can. And sometimes, look, it's really far from the actual pillar itself. So I can be standing very far from the pillar and activate it. Take advantage of that. Don't go all the way up to the pillar. Get as close as you need to to be able to activate it. Then go on to the next one. All right. So now you activate all four pillars, then you go into the center. Give me just a second here. Oh, come on. Get going. One more. Yeah, get that one. And now, okay, you can see that it is now active. And boom, hit it. All right, now the worm is down. So I'm going to switch to my melee weapon. And I'm going to go attack him with the swords now and see how I'm doing damage. You gotta keep doing it. Now, there's a couple other hints that you can take here. Like I said, I'm always moving, but another thing is I'm only taking time to shoot the spiders that are holding me back. If you notice, if nobody's holding me back, if there's no spider webs on me, I'm not engaging them. So I don't bother doing that. I heal when necessary, uh, and occasionally I use my healing spell and sometimes I just use a healing potion. You see how close they are to me and they're pulling me back so if they get much worse I just engage them. But I try to not engage as much as possible. The other thing is that every once in a while stalactites fall from the sky and you can use those to your advantage like I am right here. Boom! There. Got rid of some of them. So stalactites, right? They're the ones that fall down. Like mites go up. Am I right about that? Eh, let me know. All right, so anyway, you just basically keep repeating this and repeating this and wearing the worm down until he is finally dead. Let's go fast forward to that because it takes me a long time. Like 15 minutes it took. Fast forward time. And here we are just about at the end. Gonna flip the switch. Eat my final couple thwacks and boom, he is down. And that's how you defeat him, folks. If this video helped you out, please do me a favor. Thumbs up and subscribe for more. Retro Rob's gaming videos.